Hi everyone! Today is the 11th of um, September 2012 and um, it's a Tuesday. Well, I've had quite an interesting day today. Um, I will just go back a little bit because um, the last time I spoke to you, I think, um, was... I can't remember what I was actually. Maybe I was only... Uh, maybe se seven weeks, I think. Yeah, I think I was probably seven weeks. Um, and today is seven weeks and six days, so I'll be eight weeks tomorrow. Or another way of looking at it is I'll be starting my ninth week, which is really exciting. I had um, some really full on tiredness um, recently. Um, last weekend, I literally couldn't do anything but sleep. I got home from work, slept. Um, for hours, I got up at like half past nine in the evening, went to bed, slept all night, then had a really long nap the next day as well, so, and I still felt tired. And um, that seems to have eased up a bit now. Um, I'm not getting the, uh, the nausea um, so much when I'm hungry now, but I have actually been eating more regularly instead of waiting until I'm really hungry. I will have, a, you know, something to eat, like a little uh, slice of cake or a biscuit or something, which I know isn't great, but... Um, it does really help to stave off the hunger. So anyway, um, I have been having a lot of um, crampy feelings, basically feeling like my period is going to start, um, which is not, which is really disconcerting actually. Um, and then some, actually no, uh, yeah, yesterday, um, which was Monday, um, in the evening, we, me and my boyfriend just been sitting watching a film and I got up to go to the loo and there was um, quite a bit of red blood and I just freaked out. It was really horrible. I thought that's it, basically I'm going to be, I'm having a miscarriage, this is the, the end of it. So I sent a text to my um, midwife, who didn't reply, um, so I thought I just have to wait till the evening to the morning which I did and so in the morning I rang up the um, the on-call midwife at my hospital and um, she said that she would try and get me a scan and then the earliest scan they could do was Thursday which is two days time and there's no way I said I could wait that long I just would literally sorry all my stuff just went on the floor um, I would literally be freaking out if I had to wait that long I mean, I actually think that's bad to, you know, if someone's in a stress, stressful situation anyway, to make them wait two days, like being highly stressed, is just awful. And she said, well, maybe you could perhaps go and have it done privately, uh, which is like 80 quid, which I don't have. Um, certainly not to spend on a scan that I should really be getting. And I know we're really lucky in this country, we can get things for free, and I should be really grateful, but, you know, I, I don't have... 80 quid basically and anyway I rang up the private hospital and they didn't they weren't able to do the scan because no one um, no one works there uh, the ultrasound scanning person doesn't work on a Tuesday it only works Monday and Friday apparently so that was a waste of time so I said to the midwife look is there any way that I can have a scan done today or tomorrow so she said, okay, let me see. So she um, rang me back, she said, good news. She said, I've begged and begged and begged the um, the day assessment unit is, and they have said they can fit you in 11. I said, thank you so much. I said, you don't know, you don't know how much weight that is going to take off my shoulders. So instead of having two days of like, full-on stress, I was able to have it done today, which was great. So I quickly got myself ready um, and called a taxi and went to the hospital. So when I got there, um, it was the same lady that did the um, scan at five weeks, five days. So I just, oh, I bet they think I'm being a real like uh, warrior. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I just, I don't like all this bleeding. I don't know why it's happening. And you know, you don't take it lightly. The midwife said you've done the right thing by um, telling us that it's going on. So anyway, I went in and I thought I was going to have to have a um, transvaginal scan. Well, I didn't because they were able to do it um, just on my stomach, which was really good because it's actually not, 
very comfortable having the trans vagina one and it's just not very nice like having your legs wide open basically while they put this probe into it um so i really wasn't confident that it was going to be good because the other thing i didn't say is well i've been just hasn't been feeling pregnant anymore and a lot of people say that you know that is a, a really big um basically women's intuition like if you don't feel pregnant anymore that's that's normally a good sign that something's not right because my breasts have been really really sore and that seems to have died down a bit and just haven't been feeling that as tired so i just wasn't very hopeful so anyway um i went in and she um did it and yeah saw the um baby on there which was really really good um it's just like that tense moment we say is, is the heart beating then or and it was i could see it i couldn't see it like that clearly but i could see it and i said it, can we listen to it and she said no it's too early which i don't understand i I've, i know um other it's like you know um i what i've subscribed to casey our that does our tcc journey who i think is fantastic um um has given me a lot of positive um positivity for my own um pregnancy really i think she's great but i was watching one of her videos when she was i think she was seven weeks three days um, pregnant and they did an ultrasound and they were able to hear the heartbeat so i don't know why they can't do it at my hospital it's a bit frustrating anyway the the, the heartbeat was there but i didn't go to hear it so if you remember last time when i was five weeks and five days the baby was it was like less than five millimeters crown to rump so it was really really small and if you remember that picture i showed you where you know you could hardly really see anything apart from that tiny white dot um well today when i had the um scan done it was quite different because um now the crown to rump length is um 18.4 millimeters which is uh a slight double the size of um what it was before which is really good um which is a really good sign that it's progressing well and i will now show you the picture of what it looks like as you can see it's really grown a lot um I'm not really, I'm quite, I think, um, yeah, this bit here is the head, and I think that's a little f foot or a leg coming out, but I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, if I just show you, compare the two, it's amazing the difference between them, I mean, that's only... I mean, you can hardly see that one at all, and that one is massive. So it's really exciting to know that, um, you know, something is it's it is positive and it, it's growing, and oh, that's just such a relief. It really, really is. I can't tell you. Um, so yeah, it's just I'm just really, really happy. I just really want this to. Um, to carry on being successful actually um i spoke to my mum about it and she said that she uh, had bleeding with me all the time so maybe it's just one of those things that happens um like i was saying in my other video it is eight weeks so that would be the time around the time that my um second period is due so that's another reason why um i could maybe be having the bleeding it's maybe a breakthrough through bleeding so i haven't had any sickness haven't vomited once but I think that's also something in my family because my mum didn't have it with me, my sister didn't have it, so I'm just, maybe I'm just really lucky. Um, yeah, so that's all really. I mean, I actually didn't go into my placement again today. And that's the only, only the second time, but just because I was getting so stressed this morning, I was crying, you know, panicking. My boyfriend was just like, you have to chill out. I was like, I know, but it's really hard oh i don't know i just need to keep it together and try and get through these this three months 
the, the midwife said just to um, keep your, you know relax and drink lots of fluids um, not that that is proven to actually help but at least it makes you feel like you're you know doing something um, good I don't know but um, yeah so um, yeah, that's all for now really so I'm just hoping and praying that everything will be okay I'll just get through these next few weeks I've got my 12 week um, scan on the 10th of October which is like a whole month away now which is going to be awful having to wait hopefully I won't get any more bleeding between now and then but the way things are going I probably will um, I probably will at 12 weeks because that's what every four weeks we're getting this bleeding now it's got it at, at four weeks I'm getting it at um, eight weeks and I reckon I'll get it at 12 weeks but we'll just have to wait and see um, I, I know there's too much information I don't, I'm not going to have I'm not going to sleep with my partner I don't think I, d I just don't want to risk it and I know they say it's fine but I just don't I think it's so fragile everything is like hanging on a knife edge I feel like at the moment it could go wrong at any minute so anything I can do to um, try and prevent that is has got to be a good thing but um, so yeah anyway I will go now I'll keep you posted and um, hopefully there'll be more good news okay then see you soon Bye. Thanks for watching, by the way. <laughs> Bye.